Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just finished recording my bathing garden video. Um, that's uploading right now. And now I'm bringing to you guys um, a much longer video with a lot more sense I need to talk to you about. This is from the pharmacist's daughter. I know I talk about them a lot because I love their wax. I buy with my own money a ton of their wax because I love it. And I have a lot of um, co-waxies that buy their wax too and love it so much. Especially, I always say, their coffee scents, but also masculine, aquatic, fresh. I mean, I like a lot of their scents, but those are my favorite things that I get from them. But so to, today, tonight, I just got off work, so I'm pretty tired. So I'm sorry if I'm a little numb-brained. Um, so right now it's January 31st, but tomorrow, February 1st, at 12 Eastern Standard Time, they are doing an RTS restock. And I'm here to tell you about the scents. Yes, they sent these to me for full transparency so that I can describe them to you so that when you buy tomorrow, you might have a hint of what you might like. So there you go. I feel like I share that every time, but just in case you didn't know, nothing fishy or weird. I'm literally excited to explain scents to you. So um, there's a few different shapes we have here. Um, I'm going to do this one first. It's the only one like this. It's in this adorable tart shape. Let me show you the shape first. Look how cute this is. And this is, by the way, a Valentine's themed RTS. Um, and you'll definitely notice that theme throughout these names, shapes, colors. Um, so to me, I mean, this looks like a cute little like large pettifor kind of tart. And this is in Love Letter. Some of these scents they um, released last year for Valentine's Day. I don't know if I remember this scent being one of them, um, but this smells really nice. So love letter is iced almond cookies, brandied custard and vanilla butter fudge. That's what I'm selling. Definitely getting vanilla butter fudge. It's not too almondy, but there is a touch of almond in there. I, it says brandied custard. There is something more, the vanilla butter fudge is there, but it's almost as if you had like vanilla butter fudge with like some creme brulee that's browned on the top, on top of it. There's something toasty about it. But it's definitely like a thick vanillic, like vanilla fudge. <laughs> so yeah, that is love letter. Very sweet, very vanillic, very creamy, very gourmand is what that one is. Okay, and then next up, I just really want to do these shapes um, because, I mean, for Valentine's Day, they're common, but they don't do this shape all year round. This really pretty, just like thick, big heart shape. Really adorable for Valentine's Day. And of course I picked that color of these three. Very Valentine's-y. Uh, this one is called First Love. And this is pink lemonade, strawberry white cake, and blackberry magnolia. This is very, that blackberry magnolia is the most apparent. It's kind of body care-ish. It's kind of just cute, girly body care. Like it kind of reminds you of like when you were a teenager getting ready in the bathroom, spraying your body sprays. I definitely get blackberry magnolia with some pink lemonade in the background. The strawberry white cake, I wouldn't be able to pick that out singularly, but it might be adding just some sweetness in the background. This definitely smells like a super girly, getting ready for the day, body spray, hairspray, like that situation. It makes you happy. It, it does. So first love, maybe you're getting ready for your little first date or something, but it really, it smells really just happy and peppy. The next heart is Bow and Arrows. This is the one that when I was, because they had their list out already on their Facebook group. This is one of the ones that I was most excited for, obviously because it has like masculine notes in it. But Bow and Arrows, and it's this beautiful, I think it's blue, heart, a thick heart. This is white birch and vanilla, blue sugar and warm vanilla sugar. So you probably know why I like, would love this one. Mm. You really get the white, I mean, you smell the white birch. And the blue sugar. I get a ton. No, I do get the warm vanilla sugar. But it's definitely played down in here. Um, I would say the white birch and vanilla comes out first. Then the blue sugar. I'm sorry, my leg is like having a cramp. Um, then the blue sugar. Then the warm vanilla sugar. So um, I do think it leans. This one is one of the ones that leans more masculine. But in a very nice way. That, that birch, I mean, it smells like. A birch, like it smells like tree. A very fresh outdoor, like forest tree. Hmm. 
I like that one. I'd probably get more of that one myself. And then the last of the hearts is Sweet Cheeks. And this is Sweet on Paris, Blackberry Tonka Bean, and Pomegranate. All right. I think they had this one last year. Okay. Yes. So if you don't know what Sweet on Paris is, it's actually one of my very favorite, like, I think it's gourmand. It's supposed to be a Bath and Body Works type, but to me, it smells like a very bakery gourmand scent. It's blackberry, lemon, and like pastry. And I love that oil. Look how cute this like splattered heart is. So I smell sweet on Paris. Okay, blackberry, tonka bean, pomegranate. Okay. I think that black, there, there is like a girliness, almost body carish vibe to it, that blackberry tonka bean maybe. But this is, it's definitely sweeter. It's more like, yes, body carish, but almost if you made like candied body care. And you get the, from the pomegranate, you kind of get the juiciness, but nothing like, too tart or anything. This is just a very, once again, like cute, very girly, fruity, candied scent. I mean, sweet cheeks. This is something like that someone might buy you this scent for Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's really just, it's cute and pretty. It's more gourmand than that other one that I said smells like body care. Because this is a little body care-esque also but more definitely more candied like a candy you might eat so gourmand in that sense so see if i can get it back in the bag um and then let's see i only got one of the like snap bars here so i'll do that one next this is called boardwalk and it's in the dual tone and this is beach type amber noir labdamum and cashmere <clears throat> excuse me i like inhaled some wax so it's in these tiles and it's the dual color here Ooh, yeah. Beach type, definitely. I get the Amber Noir is Noir is giving a base to that beach type. So it's deeper. It's almost like if you took like Bobby Brown beach type, but made it at dusk into nighttime almost. Because the Amber Noir makes it a little bit more serious. This is like very sexy, actually. Hmm. This is like beach type made sexy. Wow, the more I smell it, the more like complex it is. This almost like could be called like beach date night or date night at the beach or that is really, if you are looking for like a sexy bedroom scent, Boardwalk is it. It has a cleanliness to it. It's clean because of beach type. But man, that Amber Noir has threw a wrench in that for me in like the best way. Well, I'm supposed to be on like a RTS no buy, but if you like similar scents to ones I do, this is like, is really, really nice. It's a beachy scent made different because of the Amber Noir. That is really, really freaking nice. Um, okay. And then we'll do, oh, oh my goodness. I have another heart in Kissing Booth. Sorry about that. Kissing Booth is passion fruit, nectarine, pink sugar, sugar cookie dough, and blue cotton candy. And this um, has the little splatters on it too. Ooh. Interesting. Kissing booth. That is cute. Look at that. So this. It has sugar cookie dough. Like it, like it's like I'm smelling a cookie, but also I get the passion fruit and nectarine. It is like the wildest cookie. It's like if you literally have like a cookie with frosting on it, but fresh fruit on the top and then cotton candy on top of that. I don't know. This is just fun. It's, I would say if I had to put it in a category, I would say fruity. Because yes, the passion fruit nectarine comes out the most. This isn't, you're not going to get straight up cot cotton candy, but it's there. And the sugar cookie, though, the sugar cookie dough, I always have the hardest time saying that, is definitely there too. It smells like a nectarine, like passion fruit sugar cookie. How fun. Like that is like a perplexing scent, but very fun. Yeah, but the nectarine and like um, passion fruit in there smell fresh. Like fresh fruit, not candied fruit. So that's 
Very interesting. Um, okay, so next let's do two of the like big bunt sizes here, which I'm very excited about because she got, you know how she, they do a lot of coffee blends with their coffee house oil. Well, she had been testing a ton of different coffee oils and she finally found this espresso oil that she really liked. And so she made this blend called coffee with cream and it's literally just espresso and sweet cream. Um, I think she had made a comment that she wanted us to be able to like experience what the espresso really smelled like. And when I opened my box, this is the only one I smelled because this is what I was really excited. I remember in their live, she talked about it. And so I was like, oh, I know that she's going to have one or two of the espresso oil scents. And so I really want to smell it. And I really like it. Um, it is different than her coffee house oil, obviously. It's darker. It's roastier. It's more velvety. The cream is in there, the sweet cream. Um, this is a blend. Like I said, it is creamy. It is sweet because of that sweet cream. But I don't smell, I mean, in the coffee house, I have no, there's no skunk in that for me at all. That skunky, like old coffee smell that some coffee blends and oils have. To me, this is not, we all, it's very, a very subjective scent for everybody, but I don't smell any skunk in this. No old coffee at the end of the day at the tire store. This smells like espresso and sweet cream. That's often how I drink my coffee. Like I, I do buy like, um, Bustelo. I also buy like Starbucks Veranda, which is a lighter coffee, but I also love the espresso beans, but I just often will just put some heavy whipping cream at the bottom of the mug before I put my coffee in. And that's that. Yeah, so it is different than Coffee House. It's darker, it's roastier, it's more serious. It's more black coffee than Coffee House, um, which I very much appreciate if you guys follow me and hear me talk about coffee scents. So I'm very excited to get more blends from her with that oil in it. Um, this next one is called Sticky Buns. It's in another one of those large buns. And this is coffee, cinnamon buns, ice cream scoop bread, and buttercream crunch cake. So this is probably pretty sweet. It is very sweet. It is a very, very sweet cinnamon bun and it's called sticky bun. So there you go. It is a very sweet cinnamon bun with buttercream frosting, but there's quite a bit of cinnamon in it just so you know. So it's not just, I'm excited to have that. I'd say that thick buttercream and that cinnamon are pretty balanced. You get both and you do definitely get like the dough of the cinnamon, of the sticky bun. Yeah, I mean, that is like a breakfast sticky bun is what that smells like to me. And then next we'll do some tiles. I always love her really pretty tiles. There's four scents here I have in the tiles, yes. Um, this first one is adorable. It's called Smooches. And it's lemon sugar, vanilla bean Noel, violet, lavender, and mint. Very complex. It's in this really, that's like a pale yellow, right? Um, I'll take one out so maybe you can see it better. These are so pretty. Oh, that's, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that just makes you smile. That smells like sp spring. Like that smells like, it's almost like an Eastery scent. I think you get the lemon, you get vanilla. You do get that touch of violet, like that little bit of floral. That's kind of why it makes it almost like Eastery. Don't be, this is not a lavender scent. It's not a mint scent, but you do, like if I wasn't told that that lavender or mint was in there, I might not know. But the fact that I'm having my nose search for it, gosh, what does this smell like? It kind of, let me just remind you of the notes again. So it's called Smooches, Lemon Sugar, Vanilla Bean Noel, Violet, Lavender, and Mint. It sounds very unique. It is. It almost smells like to me, like it, when you're putting like an Easter basket together and you have like the plastic like grass that you put in the basket and you have like candy and like the plastic eggs and like, I don't know. This is so unique, but it smells like Easter festivities. This is like, if you want something different, I would definitely give this a try. If the second I smelled it, it made me feel happy. Like this is a very happy scent. It's lemon sugar based, but you get the, definitely the vanilla creaminess from the vanilla bean Noel. You get a very implied violet. Like it's, 
you're like, there's something slightly floral in there. Like it smells like a spring garden a little bit. I don't know, you guys. I like I'm a little bit perplexed at how to explain this one, but it's worth getting. I'm really happy to have this. Unique, different. You want to experience something new? Try smooches. It's like adorable. That's this like that's how I'll describe it. Adorable. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to spend so much time on each one, but this next one is called Blue Mermaid. It, it's B L E U Mermaid. And this is sea salt, ocean mist, sea moss, fresh linen, green apple, and mac apple. Um, and this is in a different design in the tiles. These ones are kind of the more lattice, like more detailed ones. Okay. This is, um, you definitely get mossy. So it has that like almost colony undertone. It's one of the, the ocean mist and sea moss in here are more of that serious oceanic scent. I do, I do get a linen kind of a scent. Maybe a green apple. I don't get much like Mac. This is not an apple scent. So I'd say, I'd say this is a more serious, almost um like melancholy mermaid ocean scent. But very, it is fresh, but the freshness is like, if you've had like a moss scent, it's not like fresh sea air breeze. It's definitely like an ocean, like sea moss. Yeah, this is like bluesy, moody almost. Yeah, it's like melancholy. It kind of sets you in like a chill, relaxed, fluid kind of mood. I know that sounds weird, but it's not like a refreshing opening that start the day with a lot of energy scent. It's more like, okay, I've cleaned the house. I want something fresh. I'm going to sit down and like read a book, relax this. I hope that makes sense. And my legs long asleep this way now. I'm the older I get, my sciatic nerves are just awful. I get it from my dad. Um, this next set of tiles is called Pink Cashmere, and this is cashmere plum, pink sugar, and butter mints. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. And then once again, a different style. Hmm. It's okay. I get butter mints. I get like a cashmere plum. I might get pink sugar. It might, if I didn't know it was there, I might not know. It's, it is like a cashmere plum with butter mint. I, I know I do get the pink sugar. The mint in here is not strong, but it's definitely there. It's more about the fruit, like the deeper fruits with that pink sugar. It's not my favorite of these. It, it makes me want to smell what her cashmere plum oil smells like by itself because I think I would really like that. This would definitely, I mean, I would enjoy this for sure. And it smells Valentine's E. I think it's reminding me of something that I just can't put like a brain cell on it. But this is really, really, really wanting me to like, making me want to buy like her cashmere plum by itself. It's girly and fruity in a deeper way because it's plum with a touch of that pink sugar and butter mint. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how I feel about that blend um, with the butter mint. I think... Um, a cashmere plum and pink sugar blend would be awesome or cashmere plum by itself, whatever. Um, but I don't know. I like it. It's just not my favorite, but not everything can be a winner, you know, For, to me, that might be a winner to somebody else. So this is another one that I read on their Facebook page that I was very excited for. So this one's called coastal waters and this is lemon marine air musk and amber. And once again, a different, um, pattern. Yes. Than the others really pretty. And this is beautiful. I smelled this one, um, right before actually I sat down to do this. This smells like something in my prior life, like super deja vu to me, but not within the wax world, not within the vendor wax world. This is, 
gosh, it makes my mouth water. It's like, <laughs> this is not going to sound right, but it's like you had like Clairol herbal essences mixed with like the best smelling possible like hairspray that you might love because it smells so good. And then you're going to add in this backdrop of like literal water, like literal aquatic water. You guys, I don't know. It has this like texture and undertone of like herbal essence, but it doesn't smell like herbal essences. I hope if you buy it and you smell it, you'll understand what I mean. I'm sorry. It has that texture of herbal essences. And then just a little bit of this body, fresh body care dewiness. And then literal water that you're swimming in. It's so, it's unique. And it's not masculine or feminine. It's unisex in my opinion. It's very smooth. Nothing is gritty or screechy. It may be, I mean, it says lemon here, but I don't really smell lemon. I was going to say there, it might hint towards fruity, but I don't know you guys. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, they must have gotten some definitely like new oils. Cause some of this stuff I'm like, I don't know. This is something I'd probably melt in my bathroom. It kind of smells like you're getting ready for the day, but to go to the ocean, but not beachy. It's, it's cool. I don't know. It's a cool scent. It, it's interesting. And I, I like it a lot. Nothing else I've ever smelled in the, in the wax world smells like this. I like it. <laughs> it's unique. Okay. Next we have three of her like mini loaves. I'm going to do the one with the heart on it first because it's cute. And I believe she had this scent last year. This is confectionery, confectionery, oh my gosh, Danny. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, pink sugar, blue cotton candy, and blueberry muffin. I know. I'm telling you, unique. But this is like what their um, mini little loaves look like. And look at that cute heart. Okay. I am getting blueberry muffin first, which interestingly enough, if you saw one of my posts on Instagram last week or whatever, I've not been a blueberry fan. I'm starting to like some blueberry stuff in the morning when I'm drinking my coffee. Okay, blueberry muffin first. Pink sugar and blue cotton candy next, but still don't play a great role. And maybe the, the smallest base of a cupcakes at Tiffany's to kind of put a base to that blueberry muffin. But this just smells, because of the pink sugar and cotton candy, this just smells almost like a sugared, like the chunky sugar on the top of a blueberry muffin. Where maybe like in the background, like the uh, some of the other options are like sugar cookies, basically. But this mostly smells like a very sugary blueberry muffin to me. Which I, like I said, lately I've been in the mood for that. I bought a few loaves of blueberry muffin scents. Like, so not me, but I did. So yeah, this smells like blueberry muffin, so I'm digging it right now. Um, let's see, next one is Cranberry Passion, and this is Cranberry Collins Nectarine Blue Sugar and Avo Bath. And this is like triple layered. Okay. Mmm. So the Avo Bath in here, because of the other notes, does not come off, because Avo Bath is a lush type. It's that very like lemongrassy, citrusy clean scent in this it doesn't come off as like the lemongrass kind of body care thing because it's with the nectarine really makes it more the abobath makes the nectarine just seem more vibrant and juicy it plays that role and then cranberry collins is very like a tart condensed cranberry drink so to me i'm getting a drink Maybe a nectarine drink that has like nectarine like syrup in it with a bright lemon juice, like maybe in a lemon zest, maybe over the side with cranberry like Collins in it. I can't say I smell blue sugar, but I don't know what this would smell like without the blue sugar. 
So cranberry passion, this is a very bright, there's no fizz in it, but almost fizzy because of how bright it is. Fruity scent, and I would say that it falls within this really bright, luscious nectarine and lemon with a touch of cranberry. So it smells like a drink. It does. Like a really fun drink. I like it. I like it a lot. This is one of those scents that in the morning, if you need to be woken up, this is very invigorating. Very, very invigorating. Okay, and the last of the mini loaves is Champagne Bubbles. And this is Champagne Pear and Fizzy Pop. And look at how cool that one is. That just looks like fun. Oh, yes. Definitely Fizzy Pop. Am I getting pear? I'm getting champagne. Yeah, I may be getting a touch of pear. This pear is not the over-ripened, like, really juicy, soft pear. This is more of the, like, fresh green pear that might still be a little crispy. Once again, zesty, invigorating champagne. Pear champagne. But the fizzy pop adds citrus to it, obviously. Yeah, very, very fizzy, very fun. I mean, it's called champagne bubbles, and that's what it smells like. So very fun. Okay. Next, um, all that I have left now are souffles and I have five souffles. So I'm just going to grab which ones are closest to me and go with it. This first one is Mi Amor and this is fresh linen, pink chiffon and vanilla bean Noel. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute. Oh yep. Yeah. Okay. So pink chiffon, the strongest. Oh man, that smells even better on the bottom. I got a whiff of the linen. There's something, wow. The texture of that pink chiffon and linen, the texture, the smell, the texture of the smell. Hmm. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I mean, reading the notes, I didn't think I'd dislike it. But wow. This is really very pretty. Mia Moore is a very perfect name for that. Ugh, that just smells like beautiful. Really beautiful. It smells like a woman. <laughs> I mean, if that's how that woman wants to represent themselves. And like, you, you're meeting her at her house to pick her up and she has done laundry. This is not a laundry scent. It's in the background, that fresh linen. There's, you might be like thinking, wow, she has a, like some, like she's done laundry in there, folded it. You can smell it way in the background, but she at the door is wearing pink chiffon. Ugh, this is really nice. Pink chiffon is for sure like 50, maybe 60% of this scent. Then maybe 20% fresh linen and like 20% vanilla bean Noel. Cause there is a creaminess from that in there too. This is just, it's beautiful period. I mean, this smells like beautiful. Creamy pink chiffon with a little bit of fresh fluffy towels in the background. Really kind of special. I don't know. I really like that. I was, I'm surprised that I like that so much. Okay, the next one up is called Candlelight, as I just gained like sparkles all over my face. This is Blackberry Magnolia, Amber, and Fresh Cut Wood. And this one has a little heart on it also with some really pretty iridescent glitter or blue or green or something. Oh, is that a different color on the bottom? Guys, I so wish I wasn't colorblind, right? Interesting. Blackberry Magnolia, which always automatically to me, I say feminine body care. Amber and fresh cut wood. Mm -hmm. I get fresh cut wood for sure. There is definitely a masculinity to this. But there's a definite feminine body care too. This is maybe like the smell of when say a man and a woman are together and they both get ready for a date and you get in the car freshly made up. Like he has just like shaved and has maybe a cologne on. 
she has lotioned and body sprayed and blah, 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 blah. And you sit in the car and you go. And that's kind of what this smells like. It's fresh, but it is at the same time masculine and feminine. And I like it. Not my favorite because Blackberry Magnolia isn't my favorite. It's not bad. It just literally smells like feminine body lotion to me. But I mean, it's definitely like a, it's just one of the oils that is used a lot in the spring. And it smells good and fresh, um, but it is very body care-esque. Okay, the next one here is Laundry Day. And this is Greek Island Breeze, Breeze Snuggable and Zest Soap Type. I think she said she had this one before. Maybe I just forgot. Uh, immediately Greek Island Breeze, if you're a fan of that. That's immediately what I get off the top. Yeah, I mean, and this has to be like 80% Greek Island Breeze. Snuggable, is that one of those, like, snuggle? Is it supposed to be like snuggle, or is it like one of those, like, um, laundry pellet kind of things? Like, because they're called, like, sensible and things like, or something. We don't buy them. Not, I don't have anything against them. I just have read the um, labels and wonder if it was that. Uh, there's zest soap type, but it's very minimal in here. This is mostly Greek Island Breeze, which I like. Um, Greek Island Breeze is a good oil, I think, for people that want a fresh scent, but it needs to not be screechy because Greek Island Breeze to me is very smooth and just easy. It can be strong, but it's never sharp or screechy. So I think it's a really good oil for people that fear that from like laundry and fresh scents. So yeah, it's nice. It smells a lot like Greek Island Breeze. So if you are someone that is wanting a fresh scent that is afraid of that screechiness, powderiness that sometimes like gain scents can get like in the back of your throat, Greek Island Breeze, try it out because it really is super smooth. Um, two more here, guys. This next souffle is called Icicles, and this is eucalyptus and thyme, rosemary, mint, and flannel sheets. I'll probably really like this one because... I love all those things. Ooh, look how pretty. Blue and green. Like all the cool tone wax colors just always really get me. Oh my goodness, sex. Yes. Flannel sheets. That is just one of the best freaking laundries to go with mint. Flannel sheets, then rosemary mint, then eucalyptus and thyme. It's a Danny scent. I don't know what else to tell you. It's amazing. All of those you get, all of them smell amazing. They all smell strong. It's beautiful. Makes me smile. <laughs> Man, I like that. I like that a lot. That is beautiful. Okay, and then the last souffle here is called Hardy Boys. And she did have this one last year because I remember having it. Uh, the notes here are Steel Sugar, Hay Ride, and Cracklin Birch. You can always depend on a strong throw with Cracklin Birch oil. And this is a beautiful blue. Definitely Cracklin Birch. Um, but I actually, you know, I really smell Hayride oil in that too. Um, they used that oil in a couple of their scents for the Halloween pre-order. And I really liked it. It's, it's definitely like this like straw. I mean, it smells like a Hayride. And you guys know what Hardy Boys are. Some of you younger waxies might not know. I'm um, an 80s baby, mid 80s, but some of my siblings are older than me. I was kind of at the tail end. I had one younger sibling. There were six of us, um, but I was second to the youngest. So um, even though I was born in the mid 80s, I have early 80s siblings and we grew up reading Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, stuff like that. So I definitely get Hayride, definitely get Cracklin Birch. The Steel Sugar is what is there because Cracklin Birch, if you sell it before, it is an oil that is like straight up woodsy. I love it, but it is woods. <laughs> and hayride is straight up hayride, like woods, dry hay, maybe a little bit of like old green grass, rusticness. So in here, there's also like a, a cologne kind of smooth scent. So that has, I've smelled still sugar, but it's been a long time. So there's definitely still sugar in here because there's something else in here besides those other two. It's definitely masculine and woodsy. This is going to be like a banging thrower. I'm going to tell you that right now. You, there's like almost zero sweetness in this. A lot of woods. 
and definite hayride, which I, I love that scent. Yeah, I'm actually excited to melt this because I actually don't have much wax left. I mean, let's talk about my wax stash. <laughs> That's not even all of it right now. Um, but I actually don't have much that smells like this. So I'm happy to have this. Man, crackling birch is a good oil. Goodness sakes. Okay, that was the last one. She has more in the restock than this. Um, I mean, this might be half of the list. Um, cause there's quite a few that I even wrote down that, um, I'm excited to get that are not here. So make sure if you're excited about this release that you go look in their Facebook group because there is so much listed. This at least gives you an idea of some of the shapes that they're going to be offering, but way more scents. Um, there's a lot of like fruity scents that are going to be offered on top of this. One of them that I'm really excited about, and the second I put it in my head, I just forgot the notes, but it's called Call Me, and it was one of my very favorites from their Valentine's release last year. It has their tangerine oil, and I think it's fizzy too, but I just can't remember the other note in it. Um, their tangerine oil is not to be missed. It's legit tangerine, and it's amazing. Um, so that one for sure, and then I know um, Bow and Arrow I was really excited about, and Coastal Waters, um, but... Uh, so I liked many of these, but the one that just really, really, really stood out to me was that one that was the snap bars. And of course now it's going to be at the bottom. This is boardwalk. This is uber special, um, to a freshie. So if you're a freshie or you like beachy scents or sexy scents, give this one a try. Um, also if you want something unique that like you probably haven't smelled anywhere else that is just special and like adorable try smooches this is almost like the like a really good non-sweetened like easter scent like it's a little bit sweetened but not sugary um yeah and then mia more if you want something that's like pretty but a little bit fresh definitely try mia more um anyways thanks for joining me i'm sure my husband and kids are like sick of waiting for me out there sorry about that um but oh i guess it was in my last video that there was a lot of interruptions <laughs> in my um, bathing garden video. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed. Um, but thanks for joining me. I hope you guys are excited about their restock. Once again, it is tomorrow, February 1st, 2022 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So go to their website and they will have all these scents and much, much more. I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you later. Bye.